Order. Both sides. Order. Senator Muir. Thank you, Mr President. My question is to the Minister representing the Minister for Justice, Senator Brandis. The Martin, Ple the Martin Place Siege Joint, Committee, uh, sorry, Joint Commonwealth New South Wales Review recommended that all levels of government simplify the regulation of the, of the legal firearm market through an update of the technical elements of the National Firearm Agreement. What are the government's plans in this area? The Attorney General representing the Minister for Justice, Senator Brandis. Well, thank you very much indeed, Senator Muir. That's a very important question. Obviously, um, the government uh, is studying uh, and will study all current and future reviews, whether the coronial inquiry, the departmental review, uh, and <coughs> other reviews that have been um, that have uh, uh, followed in the wake of the Martin Place siege. Uh, one of the measures that the government has. Um, undertaken is the National Firearms Agreement, which, sets, which does set out a national approach to the regulation of firearms. The Firearms and Weapons Policy Working Group, comprising members of the Commonwealth, state and territory governments and policing agencies, is currently considering technical updates to the National Firearms Agreement as a result of recommendations made in the Martin Place Siege Review. Any recommended updates will aim to strengthen and streamline firearms regulation by addressing technological advancements and changes to the firearms market, which have occurred since the National Firearms Agreement in its initial form was signed in 1996. Relevant stakeholders will be consulted throughout the process, including those from the firearms community and other appropriate groups and organisations. I can tell you, um, Senator Muir, that my department has established a firearms industry reference group comprising peak bodies from the firearms industry to provide advice on the update. Ministers, relevant police ministers and attorney generals from all jurisdictions will consider the, will consider the updated version of the National Firearms Agreement in November. Thank you, Attorney General. Senator Muir, supplementary question. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. I refer uh, you to the recent statements uh, by Senator Fifield to the Senate in response to the notice of motion in relation to uh, firearms on the 13th of August this year. Uh, does the government intend to trigger a buyback of all lever action shotguns with a mag magazine capacity of five rounds or more uh, that are currently legally registered as a Category A firearm in Australia? Attorney General. Um, well, Senator Muir, um, the Minister for Justice um, made some announcements in relation to that a couple of weeks ago, and the government does regard lever action firearms as a serious problem, as a serious matter. Now, um, I will um, provide you with further details of the de uh, uh, further particulars of the details of that scheme, Senator Muir. But be in no doubt that this government, like the Howard government before it years ago after the Port Arthur, Arthur massacre, is determined to take whatever measures are necessary in relation to firearms to keep the community safe. That being said, of course, we will have regard to the legitimate and proper interests of all stakeholders, including recreational firearms users. Thank you, Attorney General. Senator Muir, a final supplementary question. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Should the review of the technical elements of the uh, National Firearm Agreement cause the reclassification of any firearms cur currently lawfully uh, held by licensed firearm owners, will the government commit to funding a national-wide buyback of any firearms that are reclassified? Attorney General. Well, it's an interesting issue you raise, Senator Muir. I'm not in a position to make that commitment now, but we will take into account and consider what you've had to say.